Welcome back everybody and thank you for joining me in part 9 how to build a VR space game. In the last video what we did was we got our enemy shooting and we got a flash flash effects to our gun. We also got our player uh, a health script on our player so that he can die when our enemy shoots him. In this video what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding a health meter so that we can tell what our health is at on the screen instead of having to look in our inspector and our uh, debug console and stuff like that. So first off, what you want to do, go ahead and get these two canvases and let's just duplicate those. And then I'm just going to rename them to health bar, health bars or something like that. And then go into the image part and change the image instead of the crosshair to uh, like one of these background images or something like that. Or you can even create your own image. Just make sure it doesn't really matter the shape. It's uh, just going to be a health bar. And I'm going to go into the game view so I can see where the um, health bar is on my screen. And I'm going to first off, I'm going to change the anchor point to the top left corner. And then I'm going to move the position around here. Let's see, maybe what, like 30 on there and then negative 50 maybe would be good. Yeah, that, that looks pretty decent. And then go ahead and duplicate both of those images. And then change the color to something like green. So it's getting green all the way up. That looks good. Oh, and those other ones, you can you can keep their colors at white. I'm gonna change them to black or gray or something. And then I'm also just gonna bring their width out to like a hundred. And that looks good. That's that's looking like a pretty good health bar. The reason I put those in the back was so that you can, as you can see here, when the health gets lower those ones will still be there the health bar is still there so that looks that looks pretty decent I like that so go ahead and just keep that like that and then we're gonna get into our health scripts here let's go into our uh, health scripts and then we're gonna add some we're gonna add another float here whoops uh, we're gonna call it max health and then um, just set that to whatever you like it to be at the beginning let's go ahead and let's go avoid start and then we'll say health equals max health just to make sure it's uh, gonna be right there this case might be different in the inspector and let's see here what we're gonna do also let's create a boolean public bool and then we're gonna call that gains health or gains that's good and then we're also going to create another public float and we're going to call that gain rate and then what we're going to say is if health is less than or equal to zero then it's going to die and we're going to say if health is greater than max health oops if health is greater than max health then health equals max health and then we're going to say if health is or we'll go yeah we'll go if health is less than max health then if gains is true then health plus equals time dot delta time times gain rate and what that's going to do is it's going to say if our exactly what we just said if our health is less than the max health then it's going to check if the game boolean is true and if it is then it's going to add health onto our health as long as it's less than max health and then once it gets to max health if it's greater than or equal to max health then we're gonna just set it as max health and then it, it won't it won't add any more um it won't add any more health because it's going to be it's not less than max health anymore it's equal to max health so that that gets that clears that up for us that gets that working just fine and then now we can start adding we can start messing with the with the uh, UI so what we're gonna want to do first is we're gonna put in uh, we're gonna have to use the unity UI so use unity engine dot UI and then here we're gonna want to add a public a public uh, rect transform and actually I'm gonna make that into an array because we're gonna have two of them and we're gonna say health bar 
and then oh we're gonna also want to get our health percentage so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say uh, we're gonna get a float and that's gonna be health percentage and let's see here in the update we're gonna want to set our health percentage we're gonna say health percentage equals uh, let's see here we'll say health time oh, I messed up the same parentheses actually so health times max health uh, no health times a hundred and then we're gonna divide that by the max health so we can get the percentage. If I'm right on how to do percentages, I think that's right. Um, right? That's right. You. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's right. It's been a while since I've had to calculate percentages. Percentages. If anything, you know, we'll just I'll just look it up or something. All right. And so that'll get our percentage. And then what we're gonna do here is we're gonna say for each ret transform. Ret. I think that's what I'm gonna call that in health bar we're gonna say rect dot size delta equals um let's see so we're gonna want it to be a vector two so a new vector two and then we'll say for the width we're gonna want that to be the health percentage and then for the height, we're just going to want to keep that as the regular uh, height. So rect dot size delta dot y. All right, so that should be changing our our health bar to match the percentage of the health. So let's go ahead and let's save that, and let's uh, let's see how this is working. See if we have any errors. If we got any errors, we can fix that up quick. If not, we can just start moving on. All right, it doesn't look like there's gonna be any errors here. Nope, no errors. So let's go to our player here. Let's look at our health, uh, our health script. Let's change the max health to 500. And then uh, the health is gonna automatically change to 500 at the beginning. So we actually don't even uh, need to mess with that. Let's ch put gains on. And let's change the gain rate to something like 10. And then let's get our health bars in here. So those are gonna be the bars we just created not the black bars the green bars these are going to be the green bars so uh, go ahead oh i got off my health script and just drag those health bars in there all right and then we can go ahead and we can try it out see if this is working if there's anything we forgot We got our health bars up there. Let's go ahead and get to our enemy and see. Yeah, you can see it's taking our health and it gains a little bit over time. And it seems uh, it's not really taking it that fast, which uh, I actually kind of like since we're just testing it out. But if we want to be gain, I say what we should probably do is just change the damage on our bot to something like 25 maybe. Or you can just change the health on your player to be low, the max health to be lower than 500. Most games have it at 100. And now I'll be dying in like four shots. So let's go ahead and let's run up to our enemy. And yep, there you see, I die in five shots actually because uh, it goes up over time. It gains up over time. And yeah. So now our health, our health component is working just fine, and our health uh, bar is working just fine. Uh, if you want your health bar to be a little bigger, you can just change this to like 200 instead of 100, I believe. Let me see if that works for the size of our health bar. Oh, and uh, maybe we could um, we could set the uh you know what yeah let's just let's just keep i was gonna say to set the background health bar also but uh i think this should just be fine so we can just set that like this set the back back one like this or set them both like this 200 uh that actually looks a little too big i'm just gonna keep that at 100 you can change it if you like i just i was just thinking it's kind of small but i guess it's, it's good enough so uh let's just change that back to 100 all right and that was really nice and easy um for this 
for this next part i think uh you know what yeah let's go ahead let's keep this same video because this video is actually not really that long yet that's not that very long and what i want to do is i want to create some spawn positions and stuff like that so that we don't always have to spawn right in the center of the game like so if we if we died and then kill the player right afterwards without moving without us moving an inch then the player would spawn right on top of us which we don't want so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go into our health and here at the uh transform dot position part for the spawning i'm gonna change that to be like a random position within a certain radius so we'll change it to transform dot position equals random dot uh let's see inside unit sphere and then we're going to multiply that by uh we don't have a float up here for our radius let's just create a float up here public public float spawn radius and then i'll just set that to something like five and then what we'll say is uh our we're going to spawn at a random position inside a unit sphere of a radius of spawn radius and then we also um I was thinking I wanted to put this wanted to put this uh, spawn point not at the not at vector three zero like we had it at which is the center of the of the world we're gonna set it at vector th vector three dot one vector three dot one that way uh, we won't be spawning uh, hopefully we won't be spawning under the ground so we can go ahead and save that that way we'll be spawning at different spots instead of always at the center of the world otherwise players will be spawning on top of each other so let's go ahead and let's look at the at the health scripts here we got our spawn radius of five and um, let's look at the box AI or health also let's make sure that the max health is right and oh one more thing let's go ahead because we don't need we don't uh, we, we could put a health bar onto our player or onto our enemy but uh, I don't want to deal with that right now. So let's just go into our health script and we'll say right under here where it gets the each where it gets each health bar. We're gonna say if health bar is uh or health bar that length is greater than zero, then we're gonna change the size of the health bar. Because otherwise we won't have a if we don't have a health bar then this isn't gonna uh work and then it's just gonna keep on trying to it's gonna keep on trying to do that one and it won't go it won't it won't go past anything. All right, and once it's loaded, we can go ahead and play that. And you know what? We might actually, we might actually want to add a health bar onto our enemy. That way, we can see when he's dying too. So if we get up close here, we can go ahead and let him kill me, and we'll see where I spawn. So yep, I'm spawning in the air instead of straight up on the ground. It's spawned me at a random position that's uh, within that radius from uh, the center of the world. Or it's actually not even the center. And you can see I did go through the ground, which was what I did not want. So instead of having the center of the world be the, uh, or having that vector one dot position be, be the spawn position, I'm just going to create an empty game object. I'm going to reset its position. And I'm going to just bring it up a bit. That way we spawn in the air and we for sure won't spawn on the ground. Now I'm just going to call that spawn pose. And then in our health script, let's just create the a, a new transform here. Public transform. And that's going to be our spawn pose. And then here, instead of having vector 3.1, we're going to change that to spawn pose dot position. And now that should be uh, spawning us at a random point within a radius around the spawn position. So go ahead and uh, select your astronaut and your your robot. You can actually set a different spawn position for your robot if you want. Actually, I think that's going to be better. So for the astronaut, we're going to set the spawn position as the one we just made. And then we're going to duplicate that spawn position. And then we're going to uh, just move it a little further out. And then we're going to set that one as the bot's spawn position. And now they shouldn't be spawning together in the same spot or underneath the surface of the planet. Let's go ahead and let's just give it a quick test run. 
and just go and look at our look at our get closer to our enemy by shooting them out. Yep, and you can see he spawned in the air there, and I spawned in the air there, and it's looking like we should be just fine. I don't think we'll be spawning in the ground at all anymore since we're it's getting a random point that's above the ground, quite a bit above the ground. Yep, so yeah, our spawn seems to be working just fine. And we might uh we might later add a timed a timed spawn so that it times it and says you know you'll be spawning in three two one seconds and then spawn something like that. But right now let's go ahead and let's add a let's add another canvas for our for our players. I'm sorry for our robots health. So let's go ahead and create a UI canvas. And then we're gonna set the uh, space to the world space here, the render mode to world space, and then the camera. Um, I guess it really doesn't matter what camera. I'm just gonna pick the main camera, and then we're gonna set we're gonna set it over. As a matter of fact, let's bring it down. Let's bring it to our robot here. I'm gonna reset the position here and stuff like that so that it's on the player uh, the robot's position. As a matter of fact, uh, we're gonna want it to be we're gonna want it to stay on our player the whole time or our robot. I keep saying our player. So let's go ahead and let's look at it. Let's change. I'm gonna change its size a bit because it's really really big right now. Maybe one and one, and then let's bring it up above the player or above the robot, and then let's add a UI panel or I'm sorry a UI image. Add two I two UI images. Um, let's bring that, let's bring that to the, maybe the center here. Uh, you know what, this, this image is gigantic. Let's bring it down here. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna modify it with the, with this tool here. Let's just bring it, um, somewhere right around the top of the head. And actually, I'm gonna set its pivot to the right. So the left, uh, we'll do it to the left. Um, yeah, it looks about this. Let's just do it to the right, just because. And then with this image, we're gonna go ahead and change its background to like gray or black or something. And then create another image on top of that image. And then just change its color to like red. Or you can change it to green. I'm just changing it to red because he's an enemy. And then I'm actually going to make these images a little smaller. And then um, I'm just going to move it a bit to the center a little bit. I guess that's decent enough. And then in our robot, we're going to want to get our, our health, our health bar in there. So that's going to be the image that has color on it. And now within that that image should be changed the size should be changing based on health. Should be working just as our um, as our players work. So let's go ahead and let's test that out. Make sure we didn't forget anything. Make sure that nothing's uh, not working right. Make sure everything's working just fine. Oh, and yep, it looks like his uh, it looks like that health bar is looking really 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 off. Let's see, it must have to do something with this canvas, maybe. Don't want it to be in the world space, which it is. And then do scalar. Let's look it up here. Let me try taking it out of the out of the uh, enemy just to see what it looks like. All right, let's take a look at it and let's see. Oh, I think the reason why it's doing that is because the percentage of the health is a lot higher than the actual. As you can see here for from the uh, on the image, its width and stuff like that is really, uh, really, really, really low. So let's go ahead and well, first off, put that back onto your uh, player or enemy. And the canvas. Let's see what is the canvas looking like for us. It's um. I guess we can bring the canvas back up to regular size and then instead of changing the size down there we're going to change it down here or well, where was it you know what? I can't let me let me get out of there and see where the canvas is what was it point one point one point one yep 
I was thinking caps lock instead of tab. <laughs> And uh, you know what? I can't even see. I can't even see these. Let me change their sizes. One hundred, and then twenty-five. All right. Now let's change. Let's bring that scale of the canvas back down a bit. I'm just gonna use the scaling tool here. And then I'm gonna make these a little flatter. All right, and now let's take a look at it. It should, I hope, I hope it's working this time. As you can see, the width is at 100 now. The reason it was it was going so big is, yep, it's working now. The reason it was going so big is because uh, the canvas size always it goes by the percentage, and you have to make sure that it's the same there. And um, there is another way that we could do it to where uh, the percentage of the health is uh where we would be actually getting the percentage to say compare to the health of, or the health bars size it's it's really difficult to explain i i haven't done like percentages and stuff like that since i was in school and that was a long time ago so i'm a little rusty on that stuff but we got this working it's working now and uh yeah so that that i think that concludes this video now that we got our health components working and our health bars looking good in the next video i'm going to be uh showing you how to get your gun to zoom and how to change its position from a from a resting position to a zooming position and stuff like that and then also how to create recoil in your gun all right so i really appreciate you guys joining me in this video and i really hope to see you in the next video if you liked it make sure to hit like and don't forget to subscribe